my parents live next door to a small red house. Our backyard faces the side of their house, which has a deck and two large windows around front. There were always at least three cars parked outside. Oddly enough, in the ten years I lived there, I never saw anyone enter or leave. Once, when I was twelve, I saw shadows thrown against the far wall that was visible through one of the windows. When my sister moved out, I took her bedroom, a large open converted space in the basement, which had a door, and an outdoor stairwell which led to the backyard. The door had a small window on it, which my sister had covered with a Pulp Fiction poster. I redecorated and replaced the poster with some of those sure half-curtain things. The way the room was set up, if I was lying in bed or sitting on the couch, I was facing the door. When I first moved down there, I noticed that sometimes at night I would hear the sound of leaves crunching in the stairwell. I chalked it up to my cat, who liked to roam the neighborhood. I had no reason to suspect otherwise. Until a few weeks later. One night when my parents were away on business. My boyfriend and I were sitting on the couch smoking. Suddenly he got really stiff and was just staring at the window. I asked him what was wrong and he said, I just saw a camera flash. I kind of just laughed it off and chalked it up to him being high. Who would want a picture of two people getting stoned? Still, the seeds of paranoia had been sown, and it wasn't easy to get settled down for sleep that night. I kept looking at the gap between the curtains. There was no light at the bottom of the stairs, so if someone really was down there, I'd be none the wiser. At around three, I heard the distinct sound of leaves under heavy boots. Definitely not a cat. I don't know what made me decide the best course of action was for me standing all of five feet three inches to confront a potential stalker myself. I didn't even put shoes on. I threw the door open. There was no one in the stairwell, so I ran up the stairs and into the backyard. Standing there was a man in his mid-forties, maybe six foot tall, and wearing one of those mechanic jumpsuits. He was holding a clunky, outdated digital camera. We stood there for a second, just looking at each other. He seemed confused to see me. After what felt like an eternity, I remembered how to speak. What the fuck are you doing? My voice seemed to startle him, and he immediately turned and ran through my backyard towards the red house and into the dark. After that, I didn't see any strange flashes of light or hear any crunchy leaf noises. It really freaks me out to think how many nights he could have just been standing there in the dark, watching me. When I was 13, my best friend Lisa lived in a very rural woodsy area. There wasn't a lot to do but it was a blast to explore. In the fall, maybe about a 15 minutes walk away was this old rotting house that had been uninhabited since before either of us were born. My friend's mom knew the guy who used to live there, just an elderly man who passed away either by heart attack or old age or something completely not spooky. But the house was run down and filled with holes and had broken windows and a spooky basement and was never completely emptied out. So it was fun for us 13-year-olds to get into and explore. We would tell scary stories and try to find ghosts or whatever. So one day around Halloween, we take the golf cart and drive down to the house to do some exploring and creep ourselves out. We turned down the long driveway to the house and parked off to the side of the house on the off chance if anyone came down the driveway, they wouldn't see that we were there. We were trying to get all of our gear together. We'd often bring backpacks and cameras with us. When we went exploring, Lisa suddenly just stopped talking. I looked up to see what she was doing and realized she was staring at a guy standing in the doorway watching us. He looked maybe five or so years older than we were, pretty normal looking, but he was smiling. It's not like we had never seen other people at the house. The occasional other groups of teens rummaging through things but this was the first time I remember feeling so uncomfortable when he had both of our attention. He just calls out, there's a party in the basement. It's five